Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's induction training. Again, congratulations on being selected for this particular training, the Kenya Internet School of Governance training. The main aim, of course, of KSIG, as we normally call it, is to bring new voices to the arena of internet governance. So by the end of this training, you should at least have some knowledge uh, about internet governance and thereby contribute to the discussions around internet governance. So Karibuni Sana, because we've already wasted uh, uh, quite some uh, amount of time, we are not going to uh, let you introduce yourselves, but I'm going to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself uh, on our learning management system in a short while through the use of a forum, which you'll be expected to also use during your learning process. So that is where we are going to introduce you, uh, ourselves just in a short while. I can see Peter is saying that uh, sounds great to hear from you. Oh, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Sounds great to hear from you. Thank you, Peter. I almost thought you were complaining about, uh, about sound. That's why I read it aloud. OK. Uh, Just a minute, I'm just changing from my Wi-Fi to, to another more reliable internet connection so that I don't break. Okay, I think I'm done with that. Thank you very much. Okay. So, uh, okay, so Karibuni Sana, uh, generally we want to teach you about our learning management system, um, normally referred to as an LMS. Uh, we are using a, an open source, web-based learning management system called Moodle. I'm sure uh, that for the few university students who are here, most likely you're using Moodle for your online learning at, the, at your respective university. So we're just going to take you through Moodle and also take you through uh, uh, the program uh, so that you know what it entails and you strive to at least complete all the tasks that are required. Now, generally uh, for you to be able to are you seeing when I switch my screen? Like right now, I'm on a different window. Are you able to see that? Yes, I'm able to see that. We okay. Okay, so uh, you, you're seeing that uh, I'm on the Kenya IGF week. Is that what you're seeing? Uh, no, not... I can see learning management system model. Ah, okay, okay. I think I shared a particular window and not my screen. So let me just share my entire screen. Okay, good. Wonderful. So right now you're able to see it, the Kenya IGF week? Yes, yes. I can see it. Ah, Asantini, Sarah. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, we have what is called the Internet Governance Forum, which is a global uh, discussion forum about internet and the internet policy internet governance, internet policy issues. And we also have uh, local uh, IGF forums. Like in Kenya, we normally have the Kenya Internet Governance Forum, which is actually going to take place uh, next week on uh, 29th, 29th October, which will be on a Thursday, which will be on a Thursday. This is one of the activities that you, you, you are required to uh, participate in. Now, generally, just like, uh, this particular training, uh, the Kenya School of Internet Governance, it uh, initially has been hosted uh, in a hotel, uh, previously been hosted in a hotel, physical training, but this time due to the pandemic, it's going to be done online. Kenya IGF, similarly, it has been hosted previously uh, uh, in hotels in Nairobi, but this time it's going to be done virtually. Uh, so if you can see, under the kigf.or.ke website, we also have a link for the Kenya School of Internet Governance. 
the Kenya School of Internet Governance, and you actually even have the program, the KSIG program 2020. So you can see, for example, here, this was one of the instructors that was uh, actually teaching the participants uh, uh, about uh, one of the topics that they go through during the three-day training program. So you can also visit this in order to get more information about this particular training program. Now, generally, uh, you will be using our uh, uh, learning management system. Just a moment. And for you to access our learning management system, you need to visit. You need to visit uh, this particular uh, address, elearning.kigf.or.ke. So elearning again dot kigf.or.ke. Then after you've done that, you now need to log in in order to access. Uh, in order to access or whatever you want to learn about. So you need to click on the login on the top right corner here. So you need to click on login. So after clicking on login, you need to enter your username. We've already mentioned to you that your username is actually your email address. So you enter your username. After entering your username, you enter your password. And we also shared with you in your email the password that you, you should use. So for me, I'm just using the password, my own password here. Then you click on login. So that is how you access our e-learning management system, KSIG e-learning. So after you log in, then this is what you're going to see. So let me just take you through this particular window. Now, generally, uh, our e-learning management system, again, has uh, uh, these parts. So we have a top row there. Uh, this particular row is important because uh, it has this particular icon called the hamburger icon. The purpose of the hamburger icon is either to show or hide this side menu here. So anytime you're not seeing this side menu, uh, if you want to reveal it, just click on the hamburger icon. Then this is just the title of our e-learning portal. So nothing much about it. On the other side, here we have the notification icon. So if you have assignments that are due or discussion forums that are due, you're going to get notifications here. Then we have a chat feature uh, on our learning management system. And if, you've, if you receive any message, then you're going to get an alert there. Then generally what follows is your name, your profile picture, and when you click on this drop down arrow or even your profile picture, you're going to get a, a, a drop down menu that can help you achieve a, a number of things. Now, if I can come back here on this side menu, uh, you, you, you're you going to see the dashboard highlighted in this color immediately after you log in because it's the one uh, that is currently loaded. So in this, in this part here, this is where you see, or uh, this is where you see actually uh, what has been what has been loaded. For example, uh, I'm going to take you through it in a short while, but that is what the dashboard is. So under the dashboard, you can be able to see courses you've enrolled into. You can be able to see the timeline, like some of the uh, assignments that are due, uh, or maybe forum discussions, and so on and so forth. So. Those are some of the things that you can see actually there. Then we have the second menu item here, site home, which I'm also going to click so that you see uh, 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 how it happens. We also have a calendar. Calendar again, simply shows you assignments that are due and so on and so forth. Uh, in a learning management system, you can also upload private files. Uh, I, I'm not sure whether you, you, you're going to use that this time. But most importantly, uh, we've already enrolled you into the course Internet Governance Forum. And under my course, you're going to see the course code for this particular course. So IG underscore 2020. So if you click on this, then it takes you into this course uh, uh, that you're currently doing. For you, because you're not site administrators, you're not going to see uh, this last menu item there. It's only for site administrators. 
So generally, uh, those are the parts for uh, th that are actually on our learning management system. So right now we are under dashboard. So under dashboard, you see the first part is simply showing us the recently accessed courses. So if you don't want to access it from here, you can still access it from here under the recently accessed courses. You also have a course overview. So the course overview will show you, for example, how much you've done in that particular course. Uh, so it will track, so it can show you either 0% complete or 50 or even 100%. So that is just that. Then we have the timeline, which I've already talked about. Private files, if you've uploaded any private files, just like you do in Google Drive, then you'll be able to see. Uh, then this other part here, you can see all the other people that have already logged in uh, to our learning management system. So we can see like right now we have five uh, online users. So at this particular point, I actually want you uh, to access because we are learning by doing. So we're going to be doing things together. So right now I want you to access our e-learning uh, management, uh, e-learning uh, portal at elearning.kigf.or.ke. Then you log in using uh, your email address as your username and using the password uh, change me as was indicated in your, as was indicated in your, uh, in your email. So let me take a pause before I go to site home so that I give you a few minutes to, uh, uh, to log in. So I want this list to increase from five to, uh, uh, to something like how many participants do we have right now? We have around 18. Uh, yeah, so I want this to get to around 15 because I know Alu is also here and maybe Gigi is also here. So I want this to get to 15. If you're having a problem accessing and logging in, please let me know so that I can know how, how to support you. So two minutes for us to do that. Let's go. You will most likely be prompted to change your password. Just do exactly that during your first login. So nine people so far, still waiting for five more. Feel free to send a private message in case you're having issues or just unmute your mic and let me know if you're stuck. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I can see Anthony, I can see 
Elaine, I can see Kevin, Winfrieda, Gladys, Megan, Sylvia, Wambua, Agak, Ruben, and Gorod. Thank you guys for joining in. So remember your yeah, you're just going to follow through. So as I do, you watch, and then I give you some time to also uh, try it out. So make sure that you're following on keenly, and if you have an issue, just let me know. So let me explore the next link here, site home. And a site home, you should be able to see all the courses we've uh, all the courses we've created. So far, we've only created, I think, uh, two historical background to internet development and internet governance course. Don't worry so much about that. Generally, under site home, this is where you can also access uh, the different courses that you've enrolled to in Moodle. But uh, we, we only have a few course categories, uh, so nothing much. Instead of accessing the course under site home, you can actually access it directly uh, under my course, then the particular course, for example, IG underscore 2020. So that is what SiteOM has. Under calendar, uh, what do we have here? Uh, so under calendar, you can be able to see the due dates for particular assignments uh, 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 and any other activities that are due. Uh, uh, so that is what you can see under calendar. Private files, as I said, you can upload private files if you want to by simply dragging a file, then you drop it, then you click save changes. Then sometimes, for example, when you're working on an assignment and you want to store it on the cloud, instead of storing it uh, on email, you can actually store it under private files. But I don't think you're really going to use that. But most importantly, I now want you to click on IG underscore 2020. So I want you to click on IG underscore 2020 so that we can access our course. So I'm just doing that, clicking on IG underscore 2020, so that we can access the internet governance course. So let's do that. Okay, uh, so I hope we've, uh, we have already done that. Now, uh, wait a minute. Uh, before, before I actually take you through this course, allow me to take you here on the top right corner of Moodle. So if you, if you click on this drop-down arrow, you should be able to see a number of menu items, for example, profile. Uh, grades, grades where you can see your grades, messages if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, uh, chat someone out, preferences, uh, if you want to edit some of your uh, uh, preferences. And this is again where you log out. After you're done, you can always click on your picture there and then you click on log out. Now, if you come under profile, I just uh, want to request you if you have a good looking photo uh, to upload your profile picture uh, on Moodle. Uh, this picture might be important because at some point we might need to, maybe during the Internet Governance Forum, uh, as we award you the certificate, uh, we, uh, we might want to also show your, your image because it's going to be done virtually. So I want to encourage you guys to upload a nice looking uh, profile photo. So to do that again, you come to the top right corner and then profile, then you can always click on edit profile here. So under user details, you click on edit profile. So you can actually change your username if you want to. So mine is just that. You can change your password by clicking on here. So click to enter text. That is where you can change your password. In case your name was not captured correctly, either first name, last name, you can do that and also your email if you want to. But in the next in the next part, we have the user picture part where you can upload. Uh, you can actually upload your, your profile photo. So to upload, you can either drag 
and drop a file here, or you can simply click here. When you click here, a file picker op opens up. So I have a message. Let me just check it before, before we proceed. How do I log into the KSIG e-learning? What's the username? So the username uh, is your email address. And the password is uh, change me. It must have been communicated in your email. So you can have a look at, uh, at it. If you have an issue, uh, just chat me again and uh, I'll be able to sort you out as soon as possible. Okay, so you need to click on uh, upload a file here. From the file picker, you click on upload a file. Then you click on choose file here. Then you simply navigate to your computer where you have uh, a, a professional looking photo of yourself. Example, this one here. Then after you've uh, selected it, you simply click on upload this file. So when you click on upload this file, uh, it will upload it at that particular point. Then you can scroll to the bottom. Remember to always do this. Then you click on update profile, update profile, update profile. So when you click on update profile, then your, your photo will be uploaded on Moodle. So I want to give you a few minutes to do that, to update your profile picture. I'm sure you have one already. Uh, again, you come to your, 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 your name here, you click on profile, then under user details, you click on edit profile. So that's how you do it. Then you simply upload it under the user picture section. So let me give you two minutes to do that. I'll be able to see those who have been able to uh, do it by looking at the participant list on this particular course. So let's do that. In the meantime, uh, John, have you been able to access the e-learning portal? To access it, you need to visit this address, elearning.kigf.or.ke. Then on the top right corner, you're going to see the login link. You click login. For the username, you enter your email for the password. Uh, let me, let me just show you uh, the password. The password is supposed to be, I think, uh, change me, uppercase C, uppercase M. Then this is an at. So your email address and then the password. The password is that. When you log in. You change me, you make a A, you make a at. Uh, at then here, lowercase i, oh. here uppercase m. You should be prompted to uh, to change that password after you log in. I think that is how I set it. <clears throat> okay, so how are we doing so far? Are you able to follow up? Can I get some feedback? Can I get some feedback? Aileen, are you able to follow up? Okay, I, I can see some activity on your mic icon, but I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes, I've been able to update my profile picture. Ah, wonderful. Kelvin Koga, Goga, sorry. Yes, I've uploaded it. Wonderful. Peter? Peter Mbando? Yeah, back to me, because I'm using my phone, I, I want to use my laptop. So meanwhile, uh, I'm following everything. Ah, uh, no problem. Wonderful. Ruben? Mozige? Not yet, because I'm also using my phone. I'll do it. Ah, uh, sour, sour. Vivian Nobilo? Yes, hello. Hello, Vivian. 
Okay, sorry, Vivian, we are losing you. You're breaking. I'm not able to hear you. I'm not sure whether the rest are able to hear you, but I can see some activity on your on your mic icon. Okay, we. I, I really can't hear Vivian. It's okay, Vivian. Gladys Amuti. Uh, hi, yeah, I've been able to change. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Sawa, sawa. So, uh, again, to access your course, uh, let me let me simulate. I, I, I told you about the hamburger icon, but I didn't show you how it hides and reveals this side menu. You see, if I click it, it hides. So anytime you're unable to see the side menu, just click, click on the hamburger uh, icon there. It should show the side menu. Again, to access the course that you're doing uh, this time, you simply click on IG underscore 2020. We already enrolled you into this course, so you don't need to really enroll. Now, before I take you through this, if I go under participants, under participants, I should be able to see uh, all the participants. And I can see actually that Gladys has uploaded an, uh, a photo, Emmanuel, Kevin, Gorod, Anthony, and so on and so forth. Uh, we, we have about 88 participants for this particular course. Uh, so uh, that's why you can see that majority have not uploaded because maybe they are not attending this training session because we did it on a short notice and we understand that some people also worship on this day. But uh, we are recording the session and for sure we are going to share. We're going to share this. Okay, let me... <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think my internet connection fl uh, flapped, so I was thrown out of the meeting. And uh, Camila is now the host. Camila, can you click on the participants uh, menu icon at the bottom? Then you click on, you, you find me. My name is Kelvin Kariuki on the participants list. Then you click on more. Then you click on make host. Camila, are you able to hear me? Okay, thank you very much. I'm sorry for that. Okay, please join also with your official name. I can see someone is joining in with Samsung Galaxy S7. Please rename yourself from the participant list. Okay, so uh, I, was, uh, I was just showing you that under the participants list on the course, we can see all the participants I can see who has uploaded a photo and who has not. So thank you to all those who have been able to upload. If you're having any issue with uploading a, a profile picture of yourself, let us know so that we can be able to assist you. So back to the course, I can just click on this first part, IG underscore 2020. Now, generally here, uh, this is the full name for this course. So the course is called the Internet Governance Course. Then this is the short name, just like the code, IG can underscore you, 2020. You, yes. Pardon. Yes. Uh, can you please share your screen? Oh. I don't think you screen it. Exactly. I'm not sharing. I actually forgot. <laughs> Thank you very much for that reminder. Okay. Good. So um, after you click on IG 2020. Uh, this is where you, you get to. So this is the course full name. And this is the course short name, IG underscore 2020. So this course is called the Internet Governance Course. Now, once you're here, you can be able to see uh, the different lessons uh, that are there. So we have, for example, lesson one, lesson two. So right now for you guys, you can only see lesson one and lesson two. We have uh, hidden the other lessons from you guys because we want to reveal each lesson on each new day uh, so that you, you have time uh, to do each uh, lesson for a particular day. So generally you'll be required 
to cover lesson two lessons in a day. So for every day, you'd be required to cover two lessons, at least lesson one and lesson two. Uh, so that would be the requirement. Then for day two, you cover lesson three and lesson four. For day five, you cover, ah, uh, for day three, you cover, which is the last day, you cover lesson five and lesson six. And for that day, you'll also do the final assessment. Now, generally, uh, uh, number one, we have two lessons, two lessons for each day. Uh, we also have um, a forum chat that you're supposed to participate in. So a forum chat is just like uh, a discussion. So we're going to be asking questions, then everyone needs to post what they think. We also have assignments. So we have an assignment. If you can see under lesson one, we have the lesson, we have the forum chat, then we have the assignment. Under lesson two, similarly, we have the lesson, the forum chat and the assignment. So you have, you have two assignments for each day. You also have two uh, forum chats and two lessons for each day. Then generally um, for each day, we are going to have um, a talk by an industry speaker. So this is going to be done via Zoom, just like what we are using right now. And uh, this most of the time will begin from noon to, to 1 p.m. So please block this time uh, so that you also attend the talk. So you also require to attend the talk. Then lastly, if you look at the very end, uh, you, you can't be able to see this. You can see hidden from students, so you can't be able to see it. So we have a final assessment. We have a final assessment. So the final assessment will cater for 70%. Then uh, all these activities from number one to four will cater for 60% of your marks. So you need to participate in the forum chats, the assignments, complete the lessons in order to get the 30%. Uh, for you to be able to be considered uh, to have completed the course and learned, you need to pass. And the pass mark is uh, set at uh, 60%, at 60%. So I hope this information is clear. Anyone with a question or a comment? Okay, wonderful. Okay, so how do you learn from the how do you learn from the lesson? Uh, number one, you can begin by downloading the program. So this is a PDF document. If you click on it, if you click on it, it should be able to open up within within Moodle, and you can actually download it. You can actually download this program. So just get familiar with uh, this particular program. I want to request you, in fact, to download it just now. Is it mandatory to sign up for KGF? Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I'm sorry, I think that is one thing I, I didn't mention. So number six, you need to participate in the KIGF virtual forum. So this will be on 26th, 26th Thursday, 26th Thursday, uh, this month, of course. So next week, next week on Thursday. This is where we will also hold the awarding ceremony for you guys after you've, uh, for those who will achieve that particular pass mark. So you need to participate in the KGF and therefore please register for it. I'm going to share the uh, the link in a in a short while. Oh, sorry. Calvin. Um, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. no, I just wanted to make a correction. 29. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. It's actually 29th and not 26th. Thank you very much. Thursday. Okay, thank you very much. Sawa, sawa. 
Uh, so what else, what else, what else, what else? Okay, so let's go back. Uh, so this is the program. You can, uh, you can just have a look at it. Uh, so for the forum questions, I'm the one that is going to be posting it, the forum questions on day one. You're going to have an industry expert from ICANN. Uh, you, you're going to understand what ICANN is as you as you learn. Another uh, speaker from KHCR. You might also have uh, another speaker called Masi Wenjao from CA or Obam from CA. So uh, those are some of the industry speakers that you're going to have. Uh, now, generally, uh, it is important that I also mention, uh, it is important that I mention uh, that for the lessons, you, you're going to need uh, uh, at least two hours each day for the lessons. Uh, for the chat, less than 30 minutes. For the assignments, you're going to need, uh, so here, about two hours a day here about 30 minutes and for the assignment you're going to need uh, an hour and again this is an hour so you see you, you're going to require about 4.5 hours eh, to complete uh, for the three days so please create create time for that i know it can be quite engaging but the good thing is that it's short and uh, it's also rewarding. So please organize yourself. So how do you uh, how do you learn? So we've created what we call lessons. Before you go to the lessons, you can actually go to the introduction bit. So if you click on introduction, you should be able to see uh, what the Kenya School of Internet Governance is. You should also be able to see the module outline. So for example, lesson one is about the evolution of the internet. Lesson two, internet design principles. Lesson three, introduction to internet governance, etc, etc. And you can also see the course outline and the learning objectives, the content and the learning objectives for, for each of the topics. So that is what we have under introduction. Uh, if I click on back, If you scroll up, you can see lesson one, the evolution of the internet. If you click on lesson one, so okay, do you want to start at the last page you saw? Yes. Okay, I had already opened it. So let me just open from the last one. Okay. So these lessons, they're, they're quite interactive. So you might have questions within, uh, questions within a, particular, a particular lesson. So generally you're just going to be reading, you read through the text. We also have some graphics. My internet connection is a little bit slow. That's why it's loading like this. Uh, but generally when you get to the end of, of the page, you simply click on go to next page. So that's what you're going to be doing. You click on go to next page. Hmm. After, after, after the page loads, you, you also read through it. You read through it, a simply summary. Then you can either go to next page or if you want to confirm something from the previous page, you click on that, like that, like that. Where we have a question. There is, yes, well, uh, They can click on the linkages. Oh, great. So other than, other than clicking on next, you can also click on lesson menu. Here, under lesson menu, you can click on this, then you go to this, then this, and then this. Is that what you mean, Walu? Uh, no, the, for example, within content and application layer. Yes. Uh, just scroll down. I don't know if there's a link there. Okay, uh -huh. keep scrolling. We are at the no, end. Go to page one, I think. Okay, okay. go to page one. Uh huh. Uh, I think that's where there's uh, a link, huh? Yeah, like here. Yes, like according to 
No, yeah. within the text, that one, history.com, there is brief history of internet, click on it. Yeah. So it is, the, the content is more than what you see. Yes. It's interactive. Like these are 19 pages of reading. Eh? <laughs> so the page may look small, but the material behind it is humongous. Ah, ah. Thank you for reminding me that, Walu. So please also make sure within the text, you can see like this one only has three pages, lesson one, but we have links to videos, for example. So you need to watch this video uh, and listen to Dr. Vint Sat on how the internet evolved. So always make sure that you, you don't ignore because some part of the questions have actually been extracted from this particular content. So that is very important. So generally that's how you're going to be learning. So after you're done with lesson one, you need to go to lesson two. You can access lesson two either directly from here or you can go to here. Then you scroll down, then you go to lesson two. Before you go to lesson two, please attempt the assignment for uh, lesson one and also participate in the, in the forum. Now a forum is just like a discussion. Like right now I can actually create a forum uh, so that we, we introduce ourselves. Eh? So let me just uh, create a forum, which I want you to participate in so that you see how forums really work. Just a moment, my internet connection today is very slow. Oh, so where is forum, 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 forum? Okay, here. Yeah. So I want you to participate in this forum. I want to give it the title, uh, uh, introduce, introduce yourself. So tell us about yourself so we can get to know each other. So for example, name, uh, industry, maybe interests. This is just uh, uh, an example, maybe county, from which county or country. Yeah. Let's say country, county, something like that. Okay, so if I post this forum, uh, I can actually put a due date. So for example, for most of your forums, we've we've entered the due date. So you have to participate in that forum uh, in that particular day. So make sure you don't you you, you don't miss uh, to put your input for that particular day. So for this one, maybe I can I can put it to be on Monday. So 26th, 24th, 26th. Okay, for Monday uh, at 11. That's okay. Uh, maybe I just want you guys to. Uh, uh, maximum number of attachments. We don't need any attachment. Okay, that's okay. So I can simply click on save and display. Uh, save and return to course. Okay. Okay, just a moment. Uh, there's something I need to add here because I need to show you I really need to show you how we're going to be tracking you. Just a moment. Ah, my internet. What is not happening?
just a moment. Activity completion. So you need to complete this activity to, to get a mark. Is my voice okay, by the way, or am I breaking? Are you guys able to hear me well? Hello? Okay, so under activity completion, um, okay, just a moment. Okay, good. So you see, and activity completion, I'm just saying show activity as complete when conditions are met. And the condition is that student must post a discussion or replies. So that is uh, what I'm doing and I'm just putting one. So you need to at least uh, reply once on that particular activity. So if I click on um, save and return to course, I now want you to participate uh, in this particular forum, introduce yourself. So if you are in this course already, please go to this link, click on it, then introduce yourself. So I'm giving us uh, three minutes to do that. Then I'm gonna show you how we are gonna see whether you, you've participated or not. Okay, so three minutes for that. Good. Could you please uh, clarify how to do that again, kindly? I think okay. there's something I've just missed because I'm not I'm not able I'm not able to edit. I don't see where to edit from. Okay, uh, you 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 you're not going to see this. Whatever I'm seeing here is because I'm I'm an admin to this course. Uh, let me just turn my role to a student. Switch role to. Let me just switch my role so that I show you how you're gonna say that. Okay, I'm not sure whether it is this site or whether it's my internet connection, but it's just too slow. <laughs> it's taking very long to load. Wow. So probably as it's loading, so what mm -hmm. I is I can see the introduce yourself, tell us about yourself. And then underneath there's the, the due date for posting on this forum is Monday, 26th October. Yes. And then below that, it says you are not able to create a discussion because you're not a member of any group. Because you're not a member of any group. Huh? Okay, okay. Thank you for that feedback. Uh, I just want to simulate myself as a student so that I can really see what, mm -hmm. what you're seeing. Okay. How is the loading speed? There might or? also be a problem, Karis. The system yeah. is a bit slow. Oh. Okay. The system is slow on my side. I don't know. There could be a problem. Technical. And that's what I wanted to ask, actually, whether 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 it's loading slowly also on on your end. 
Oh, okay. It is. It's uh, hanging on me. So, people sheet are somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Technical. Yeah, yeah there's a technical problem somewhere. Uh -huh. Wow, it's too slow. Wow. Okay, I can see. I can see also Abdirahim, Ab Abdirahman is also saying it's slow. Okay. Okay, uh, as we wait for it, uh, as we wait for it maybe to resume, can I get some questions from you guys or comments? Any clarification you need? Thanks, Kevin. Uh, how are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, yeah, first of all, thank you very much for the platform and also in orienting us this early. Thank you. So my question is that uh, given lesson one and two and the content uh, therein. Eh? Yes. Uh, given that some of them might require additional reading and some time. Yes. Could you also do the same for the subsequent lessons and then we, we sort of like uh, for those who might get some time to read ahead. Yes. I, I totally understand what you're saying. I'll, I'll allow mm -hmm. my senior, Mr. John mm -hmm. Olubengo, to respond on that. So you're suggesting that we open up all the lessons so that, yeah, for example, I've, if, I've, you have, if you have the whole day tomorrow, you can cover as much mm -hmm. as possible. So, something like that. And then the second question, mm -hmm. for, the, for the assessment, the daily assessment, is it self-paced uh, per day or it's due at the end of the, of the course or what is it? come up again i didn't get you on okay, that I can answer. okay okay well look, go ahead yeah yeah yes we can i can take the two questions we can open the reading all the, mm -hmm. the way to lesson six that's fine but his second question was about the assignments and and uh, the forum discussions uh those ones we will have to do uh daily okay because we want we don't want to have a situation where um, somebody uh, does not work with the teacher, with the tutor, and on the last day uh, tries to do everything in one day. So um, okay. we'll have to moderate that so that, uh, as teacher Caris was saying, on Monday, you have an assign a Monday assignment. If you don't submit it by next day, midday, you lose marks. Okay. On Tuesday, you have a Tuesday assignment and forum chat. If you have not responded by midday the following day, the time goes. So that's, that's how we try to make sure that um, the class is moving uh, as, as, as planned. The other risk you are trying to control is somebody who sleeps over the three days and then on the last day, with the help of his classmates, simply uploads all the answers that the classmates gave the previous three days. <laughs> so on assessments and assignments, you have to do it on a daily basis to try and manage that. Thank you. Okay. I hope that's good. Thank you so much for the clarification. Welcome. I think, I think the system the system is back now. <laughs> Let me just try to switch my role to a student. I, I want to understand. Um, so students. So as a student, uh, this is what you're seeing so far. Uh, this is how you're seeing it. So to participate, for example, in this forum, introduce yourself, you need to click on it. 
uh, you're not able to create a discussion because you're not a member of any group. Okay. There are no discussion topics yet in this forum. Okay, let me let me try the one that Walu had created. A lesson. Did we did we really enter anything here? Ah, oh, okay. Okay, Caris, I can see from my end, it says you can only post on Monday. Maybe check. Oh, no, that's the due date. Yeah, that's the due date. Oh, oh but it's saying they add a new discussion topic. Yes, you're not able to create uh, separate groups or participants. Okay, I think there's something that I've missed when I was creating this particular, uh, this particular forum discussion, yeah. Walu. Yeah, because I can see that uh, for this one, uh, I can be able to add a new discussion topic, for example, to add a subject and then the message, then post to forum. So generally, that's how you guys are going to be responding to the to the forum chats. Eh? So again, let me just show you, for example, for uh, lesson one forum chat. You need to click on it. We are going to post a, a certain question that we want you to contribute. So after we've posted the question, you're going to see it. Then you can always click on uh, uh, add a new discussion topic. Then you enter the subject and the particular message. Then you click post to forum. So that's how you're going to be uh, uh, doing it. Mm to pick one discussion. So you can also click on topic one discussion to see what all the others have been, uh, have all the responses from all the other uh, participants. Eh? So you can always click on that in order to see. And you can also click on reply, for example, if you want to reply to a particular person uh, or maybe correct them or add some more information to their thought. So that's how we, we are going to be participating in the forums. So it's simply a discussion group like what we do on Twitter or Facebook. So you can be able to reply, uh, do posts, uh, more than one post or even reply to someone else's uh, post. So that is why uh, forums are important because they enable us to have a free discussion Okay, page is faster now. Thank you for that feedback. Okay, so other than forums, uh, the other thing is assignment. So for example, how do we, how do we do the assignment? Um, if you click on, for example, lesson one assignment, let's see. So you're going to see what is the origin and the history of the internet. What are the key infrastructure elements and components that make up the internet? So you're simply supposed to answer uh, these two questions, for example, in a Word document. Uh, you can also see the due date and the time and the time that is remaining. So if you've already done this, for example, in Word, you can click on add submission. So once you click on add submission, oh, uh, this particular, in this particular uh, assignment, you're not supposed to upload a document, but you're supposed to type in. So you can simply copy whatever you've been doing in Word and paste it here. So once you're done, you can click on save changes. So I think, Walu, you can just confirm, is there any assignment where they are required to upload a document or all of them they are doing, they are typing in on Moodle? Yeah, yeah, I made it type in. Okay. Because I was trying to avoid uploading Word documents. Most ah. students upload Word and leave viruses on you. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so, so they'll so, just type in online. Okay, thank you. So that is how you're going to be doing your assignment. Again, let me go through it. You go to the particular lesson. For example, lesson one, you click on assignment one. Lesson one assignment, then you click add submission then you can now type in your answer for question one and question two. So that's how yes. you do assignment. So once you click save changes, uh, 
we are going to get your response and we are going to mark your response. Okay. Uh, what else do you we could have? also check? You could also check forum chat if the the introduce yourself thing on the forum chat. Uh -huh. If you go to lesson one, I've tried to re re repost it there. Lesson one chat. Let's go there and see if uh, they can now introduce themselves. Oh, ah, the good, good, chat. good, good. So please, let's the do this. Uh, let's do this together. So we go to the evolution of the internet and then lesson one forum chat. Yes. yes. Then you click on introduce yourself. This one here. Yes. Thank you, Alu. Then after that, you click on reply. You click on reply. Yeah, precisely. So after clicking so on they reply. They have to participate in the chats. Yes. Ah, so please do that. So, for example, I can introduce myself here. I'm Kevin Kariuki. Uh, I'm a tutorial fellow, multimedia. So, also be doing this together with me. Please introduce yourself. Then you click on submit. We just want to see how that will look like. Okay, so Megan, we've uh, we we we've, we we are now introducing ourselves at a different place, and not the one that I created earlier. There's something that I must have missed. Eh? So right now we are introducing ourselves under lesson one forum chat. Forum chat, and then we, uh, if you can just look at what I'm doing. So under lesson one, we have the forum chat. You click on forum chat. Then the first discussion is titled introduce yourself. So you click on it. After clicking on it, you click on reply. So introduce yourself, you click on reply. So once you click on reply, you can be able to uh, now put in uh, reply to that particular question. So for example, we can see that Wakesho has already done so. She's an advocate, tech and human rights, Taita Taveta County, Kenya. Okay, thank you, Wakesho. Anyone else that has been able to reply to the forum chat? We want you to introduce yourself, please do so. So I can actually delete this one so that it doesn't cause confusion. Return to my normal role. Turn editing on. So please introduce yourself, ladies and gentlemen, from the lesson one forum chat introduce yourself. So let me see how many have been able to do it. So introduce yourself, you can see we have five replies so far. Ah, wonderful. So we have Megan, Wangare, Wambua. Thank you so much for introducing yourself. Wonderful. Okay. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful. At least a good number have been able to introduce themselves. Thank you very much. So that's how you're going to be participating. So 10 people have been able to introduce themselves. That is a good number. That's how you're going to be participating in the forum chat. So it's quite interesting and engaging. So every day, please make sure that you participate in the forum, in the forum chats. We've also looked at assignments. 
how to uh, reply or how to submit your assignment. And uh, the last thing is the final assessment, the quiz. So the quiz is going to be um, multiple choice questions. We have uh, two types of questions. I think we have uh, select one. And the second one is on uh, multiple, multiple choice. Actually, this is, this is called single choice. So we have single choice questions and multiple choice questions. So these are the two types of questions that we have in the final assessment. Uh, Walu, any other comments you can make about the final assessment? Uh, not much other than it to be multiple choice and uh, you need to be well, well read because people always think multiple choice is easy, but it's not. Uh, um, you'll have sometimes to pick one out of four choices or sometimes two. And all those four choices may sound correct. So you have to be very, um, you, you need to have read the material. So I wish you all the best, but be prepared before you, you do the, the final exam. Usually it's done in the, in the afternoon after, cause you still need time to read through. So on Wednesday evening, there are about maybe six o'clock, the assessment will be open and you need to be done within the hour, about 30 questions. So the clock will also be ticking. That's what I can say. Okay. Final exam. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So final assessment on Wednesday at 6 p.m. So please book that uh, slot that time for the final assessment on Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. We do the final assessment. The other thing is that um, uh, it's important that I just mentioned this for the multiple choice questions, uh, the wrong answers have a negative mark so that you can't select all. Uh, you can't guess by selecting all, and then you simply get positive marks on the right answers and zero marks on the wrong answers. So the wrong answers have a negative mark on the multiple choice question so that they can cancel out with the positive marks just to ensure that you can't, you can't guess. So please be, be aware about that. Be aware about that. And uh, my advice will be for the multiple choice questions, if you're not very sure about an answer, you better not select it as it might also eat up on some of your positive scores. <laughs> so think about that uh, keenly. Okay. Oh, so I think Walu, I've, uh, I have covered most of the things uh, that needs to be, uh, to, be, to, be, to be talked about. So how to do the final quiz? Let me just go over that. You're going to scroll to the very bottom under final assessment, then you click on this internet governance final quiz. So right now you can't see it because we've hidden it from you, but that's how you're going to be doing it. You click on that. Then after you click on that, it's going to be available. Right now it says it's not available because we've not set the exact time. So once it's available, you're simply going to click on next, then attempt quiz. So when you click on attempt quiz, it's simply going to open up the questions. Then you're going to check either through checking a radio button or a checkbox to select the correct answer. And then you press next, 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 next. So that's how you're going to access the final quiz and attempt it. It's going to be, I think, automatically marked. So at the end of it, you should be able to get your, your score. So I think that is about it. Walu, any anything that maybe I need to mention? Anything that I might have forgotten? We yeah, now welcome you your questions. You've covered, you've mm -hmm. covered everything. Um, 
prof perhaps just to let the participants know that we have a twitter account they should uh, follow that let me post it on the chat twitter account because there, there are some updates we do on twitter ah great 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 we need to be able to follow those oh. updates at kicktonet that's the twitter account then we have a linkedin account as well okay be by the same name so we would ask even on monday those who are not here today they need to also follow kicktonet both on twitter and uh, you know the, um, the linkedin yeah same kicktonet on twitter and linkedin uh, but basically this course, at, at the end of this course, you should be able to be very comfortable discussing internet governance issues. You will then attend the, um, the virtual Kenya IGF, which will be held on Thursday. We look forward to our students participating that they have actually gone to school on these matters. But, uh, more than that, we also want to build capacity both at uh, regional level in your counties. The things you learn here, we want you to um, internalize them and ask the question, what do they mean for you at your county level? Um, and then within the global scheme of things, we have similar discussions going on and uh, that often leads to what they call the global internet governance forum. So I think for this year, because of COVID, it will also be online. So we want to have your voices at the local, regional and international level. That's really the whole idea of, um, of having these programs. We want to raise capacity that enable you to discuss internet matters from a policy perspective. I think that's that's what I can say for now. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so to participate in the KGF session, it's going to be from eight to I think five in the evening. So please register via this link. So this is the link. Also follow Kicktonet on LinkedIn and also on Twitter at Kicktonet. When you're tweeting uh, about Kenya Internet Governance Forum, you can tweet comments from the speakers. You can tweet a question. It will be able to be followed and also asked by the moderator. So you can also tweet questions that you have, suggestions, ideas, anything. So please do so by by using the hashtag KE Internet Governance Forum 2020, make sure you tag along at Kicktonet. Also, you can follow Mr. John Olubengo at JWalu, and you can follow me on Twitter at Teacher Karis. Uh, so please, I want you right now to register. Please register for the KIGF right now. So we are not postponing this, we are doing this right now. This As I answer one of the questions. Day. Yes. Excuse me. Please post that link on the Zoom chat. Okay. Here. To everyone. Okay. There you go. Thanks. Okay, Lorreen is saying my name is on the participants, but I have not received any email so far. May you help me please? Okay. So Richard, Lorreen, Richard, what you need to do is to log in using your email address and the password that I shared, I shared earlier, but let me just, let me just reply to you on your inbox. Uh, so, okay. 
Kevin. Yes. Um, I have a question. I'm not, I'm not sure I've understood the assessment like system. Yes. Mm, if if I if I if I got you correctly, so when you are doing the final test, mm -hmm. and since there are thirty questions, and mm -hmm. I answer fifteen questions correctly, and fifteen questions maybe I didn't quite get the right answer. At the end of the Exam, exam, I'll have zero marks because the 15 wrong answers cancel the 15 right answers. Hapana, so if you. The thing is, um, how can I, wait, just a moment. Okay, so when, when you're doing the quiz, we will have certain multiple uh, choices. For example, Hmm, what, what can I ask that has more than one answer? Hmm. So for example, uh, who among the following has been, for example, president in Kenya or something like that. So for example, if we have A, uh, Uhuru Nyata, we have B, Alonzo, Musioka. We have C, Mwai Kibaki. We have D, uh, maybe Raila Odinga. So if this question, has a total of two marks, then this choice will give you plus 50% of the two marks. This one will give you minus 50%. This one will give you plus 50%. This one will give you minus 50%, like that. So that if you select all of them, then you simply get a zero. So does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does. Yeah, if, if you select, for example, Uhuru and Raila, then again, you get a zero. <laughs> because because they're going to cancel out. So that's what I'm saying, that you need to be very careful with multiple choice questions. Because here, here for example, we are, we are going to tell you select two. Select two. So just be careful on which one you select. So that leaves you with very little room for guessing. So make sure you, you have the details. Okay, Elaine, okay. you raised your hand. And okay, maybe one last thing. Okay. Um for the for the daily assessment, huh. we also get to see the, the mark that's going to be awarded because that was almost thirty percent. Yes, you should be able to see uh, the marks for the assignments by going to you, you can you can always click on grades here. When you click on grades, I'm not sure, are you able by there to see grades on this side menu? Yes, they should, but you know, it depends on when you, the tutor will have marked. Exactly. So if you're able to see this link, if you click on it, you should be able to see how you've performed in assignment one, in assignment two. Uh, so you see here, we have assignment one, assignment two, assignment three, uh, lesson four, lesson. So you can be able to see all, all the marks. So you should be able to see it. Uh, for the final so, quiz, you'll be able to see all your all your marks and the and the total. So at the end, uh, at the end of day one, when I'm answering. Uh, What's the history of internet? I don't know that um, 
looking for like 10 marks. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe Walu can respond to that. I'm not sure how the yeah because because when when you displayed that there was just the questions, but I didn't quite see the the sort of maybe maybe that. Walu you can yeah basically the 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 tutor will do all your marking you know, like assignment one it will be marked out of a hundred percent assignment two a hundred percent all the way to assignment six. They'll, you'll all be getting out of 100%. Then at the end, it will all, it will be weighted, you understand, to contribute to 30%. That's, that's how it will, it will work, okay. So you need, you'll be, to be safe, just make sure you score over 50% in each assignment and each forum chart. So you'll be on the safe side but all the coursework will contribute to 30%. And then the final assessment, 70%. I hope it's clear. It, 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 it is, it is. Will, will you be able to access the materials after the completion of the course, the, the learning platform? Yes, yes, after you'll have access for at least one week after the course. Oh, one week. Okay. Then after okay. that we'll disable, yeah. Sarah, thank you. If someone else uh, uh, needs to know what Kiktanet stands for, Kiktanet stands for Kenya ICT Action. Action Network. Kenya ICT Action Network. Um, you can read more about Kiktanet. You, you can actually Google if you read Kiktanet. So, this is the website. So Kiktanet actually organizes the Kenya Internet Governance Forum and also is the one that has organized and came up with the Kenya School of Internet Governance. Kenya ICT Action Network. So read more from this link. So I want us to wind up in the next uh, five minutes. I'll take just two or three questions. Anyone with a problem? Vivian on the chat has a problem. Okay. So I'm just typing the password. Uh, the password is change me. Oh, sorry, I replied privately instead of public, okay. So that is the password. Username is your email address. Okay. Anyone else with a question or a comment? Do I need to wait until Monday to do the assignment? I think we've already discussed on that. So we've already opened up some bits so that you can actually begin as soon as today. Uh, we're also going to open up the, the rest as we've agreed. Sylvia? Yes, the, 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 the we'll open the learning, the content. Mm. Uh, across the three days, but the assignments you'll be doing per day. So the tutor will be opening them on a daily basis. So okay. like on Monday, you'll not be able to see uh, the assignment for Tuesday, for Tuesday, but you can see the learning material for Tuesday. Okay. Okay. So the, the, the assessments and assignments uh, will be sort of a daily type of thing. 
what what we want to try and avoid is uh, to to make the session too too much assessment oriented. You know, if if you have the assessment for day three, you start looking for the answers <laughs> on day one, uh, and then you miss the big picture, which is to learn, <laughs> not to necessarily pass the exam. So we want you to focus on the content and then the assessment sort of helps you, um, gives you a sort of indicators on, on, on what are the, the key things that you should be able to uh, have at your fingertips. Thank you. Thank you, Alu. Sawa Sawa. So I think and then if we don't have any other pressing question, we can end it at this. I can remain back with anyone else who has problems logging in so that we can we can sort them out. But otherwise, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you once more and to also thank you for your active participation and for joining in. I also want to thank Mr. Walubengo, who is the, actually the creator of this course and my senior. Thank you so much for also joining in. You've been uh, of great help. Maybe we have a last word to say. To put in, yeah, yeah, just to say it's good that uh, these uh, 19 students look more serious than the others. We hope to meet on Monday. Uh, you definitely will have a head start. Those who will join on Monday will be learning the platform the hard way and it's a very short course. By Wednesday, you're done. Yes. So congratulations to you guys for sparing the time so that you get the head start to one on a Monday. Bye-bye. Sawa. Please feel free to leave now at your own pleasure as I remain with anyone else who might be having problems logging in. Thank you so much.